Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. Shogun 2 Total War is without a doubt one of the best Total War titles in the series. It's got visuals that still hold up today, it's got some of the best battles of any of the older games, and it's got one of the best saga spin-offs ever made. Today, I'm going to cover one of the most popular mods currently available for the game, a mod that aims to make the campaign and battle experience more realistic, that enhances AI to be more challenging and a mod that honestly makes Fall of the Samurai the best it can be. So in this video, I'll be showcasing the brilliant Darth mod for Shogun 2, giving you all the good reasons why you absolutely need to check it out and all the not so great things to be wary of. If you enjoy this video, do give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below and subscribe for more Total War mod spotlights just like this. So let's get started. Shogun 2 Darth mod is the third and final in the series of mods created by the legendary modder Darth Vader, who did a Darth mod for Empire and then Napoleon Total Wars before this. Many agree that his mods are essentially a community patch for the games, enhancing every aspect to be in line with what people expected of them when they first released. Better AI behavior, better balanced economies and factions, unit animations that feel more realistic, and a ton of other work to make them more immersive to their time periods. In Shogun 2, Darth Mod mainly enhances the AI to be more tactical and challenging. Often you'll find on the battlefield, for example, the AI will hold loads of reserves and only commit a handful of troops to the front line, which it will then pull back if there are loads of casualties. On the campaign, the AI is more aggressive in expansion and smarter when defending territories. So in this respect, the mod does really well, probably as well as the other Darth Mods for Empire and Napoleon. AI is also a lot smarter when it comes to army compositions. Your battles will be up against armies that have more of a variety of units and less archers, which in my opinion is a great change. It makes for more challenging and tactical battles, and it takes away the battle superiority of archers, which I never really personally enjoyed with Shogun 2. Throughout the base game and the two expansions, Darth Mod also does a lot of faction rebalancing, so that weaker factions have been buffed up quite a bit and overpowered factions have been nerfed. There's also been a lot of economy rebalancing so that increasing income is a bit easier and buildings take less time to build, which leads to a slightly faster paced campaign. And best of all, artwork has been retouched so unit cards look a lot nicer, unit visuals and uniforms look a lot more historical and realistic, which all makes for better immersion in the game. One of the best things about Darth Mod, though, is the gigantic armies. Unit sizes have been increased to the point that some units come with 500 soldiers, which is just immense. And you can now field 40 unit armies, which just makes for some of the most memorable battles I've ever played. Especially in Fall of the Samurai, where obviously more guns is always better, where you can have rows of cannons firing into the far distance, ranged infantry lining up to engage the enemy, and a last ditch attack attempt of samurai charging in vain is just an amazing spectacle. The unpopular nerfing of archers, which I think was necessary, the amended morale system which essentially lends itself to these larger scale battles, and the rebalancing of units for more realism all make Darth Mod battles well worth playing, leading to 20 minute, even half an hour battles of epic scale and really making each battle feel important. This coupled with the more challenging AI is classic Darth Mod and it's done so well for Shogun 2. And it doesn't stop there. Battle animations have been redone so that battles don't just feel challenging and realistic, but they also look immersive. They look like real life battles. I was playing Rome 2 Total War the other day and you sometimes can't really help but stop and look at the individual soldiers that are just standing there and staring off into the distance. Whereas in Shogun 2, almost every single soldier looks engaged and looks like they're fighting for their lives. The visual effects have also seen a massive improvement with smoke from cannons, explosive effects from naval artillery barrages, line infantry gun discharges, and naval battles as well looking better and better in Fall of the Samurai. And unit cards, event messages, and character portraits all around have seen a massive improvement that makes the game feel more like what Shogun 2 should have been at release. 
Now, with all of that in mind, there are a few caveats with Darth Maud that I have to mention. This, after all, has to be a balanced review, especially if there are things that many people don't agree with. First and foremost, guys, this isn't the same mod as Radius. Radius for Shogun 2 is much more about keeping to the vanilla style gameplay while adding new units, tweaking mechanics here and there, but generally there's no focus on historical accuracy, no real focus on realism. Darth Mod also doesn't have the option for you to toggle various things around. It's a whole package kind of deal here. The second caveat here is that Darth Mod is very difficult. You might find yourself in a very favorable position in a battle with superior numbers and types of units, but losing because you don't quite understand the morale system, and you didn't know that certain units can't counter other units anymore, like in vanilla. So if you're gonna play with Darth Mod, get familiar with these battle changes, because they will absolutely mean the difference between you enjoying the battles and you not. Finally, Darth Mod is a much better mod to use for Fall of the Samurai than it is for the base game. Shogun 2 faction rebalancing seems a bit over the top with many factions getting nerfed too much and many other factions becoming far too overpowered. I would suggest you play with Follow the Samurai to really enjoy this mod, but if you do like a big campaign challenge, you may of course enjoy the base game as well. This is just my recommendation. Despite all of this though, I would definitely suggest Darth Mod if you're going to play Shogun 2. It's challenging, the AI is definitely enhanced, the artwork looks brilliant, and the battles feel a lot more realistic, which I personally love. Many people will disagree with some of these things and say that Radius is better, and I will actually be doing a video in the near future comparing the two mods, but I still think that Darth Mod is worth playing. It's got issues, but it still comes out on top as one of the best mods ever made for the game, especially for Fall of the Samurai. And that's it for today, guys. I've done my best to give you a balanced review of Darth Mod for Shogun 2, including why you should definitely give it a try and all the things to bear in mind when you do. The only thing I'll say before ending the video here is that you need to get the audio fix sub mod which essentially fixes an audio bug that occurs when bow infantry fire leading to a cannon fire audio effect it can be quite annoying so i would highly recommend you get that in the video description you'll find links to both the main mod and the audio fix i just mentioned so if you're interested you can definitely click on those links and get downloading you can also download the mod from mod db which i've linked below some people have less crash or bug issues using the mod db version so just an fyi i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below subscribe for more total war content hit that bell button for notifications and thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time